Hi, I'm James Martin with Realusion, and welcome to getting started with the iClone Live motion capture system. Today we'll be talking about how you can take your Perception Neuron motion capture suit and connect that directly with the iClone 3D real-time animation tools. So we'll show you how you can create motion capture for your 3D avatars in a variety of ways very quickly and easily via this system. First, to get started, go ahead and take your Perception Neuron motion capture suit out of the case and place each one of the neurons in their sensors. What is a neuron? A neuron is one of the sensors that comes with Perception Neuron that has an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer included inside of it. Each one of these is then connected to individual spots on the human body based on the configuration that Noitum suggests that you use for your body type, and then you configure this suit to the Axis Neuron software. But we're going to connect the suit first to our workstation, and we have to choose how we want to do that. The first thing you want to do is take the USB cable that comes with that and connect the mini USB port to the top of the hub, which is the data connection. Our data connection can then be connected via USB cable directly to our workstation, but we also can connect via Wi-Fi if we want to take the cords out of the equation. By using a simple wireless router dedicated to our workstation, we can connect via Wi-Fi should we not want to use USB. We also can record directly to an SD card through the slot on top of the hub of the Perception Neuron tool. But first, for this lesson, we'll go ahead and connect via the USB cable and listen to see what happens. The audio beep that indicates that a live connection has been made lets us know that our hardware is now ready to connect to our software. So again, once you put on the Perception Neuron suit and place your neurons in the sensors, all you need to do is make sure your hub is connected to your workstation via USB or Wi-Fi and you're ready to go. We're going to go ahead and use Access Neuron to calibrate to my body type. We're going to close our prompt once you open Access Neuron and then select Connect and Continue after you've connected your suit to your workstation. Now you can see that the robot or the avatar on screen in Access Neuron software can easily be viewed in real time. Also notice that some of my movements are not proper directly um, after the connection because we need to calibrate the suit. To calibrate the Perception Neuron suit and get the best performance from the iClone Live motion capture system, we can do so very easily here on the right side of the user interface in Access Neuron. Locate the T-Pose or the Calibrate and then simply left click. This will launch a prompt that shows us four poses that we will use to calibrate the entire Perception Neuron 32 configuration suit to any body style, large or small. Now we're going to go ahead and do that by selecting next and then next once again. Sit down, feet hip width apart, hands stable, forward facing. If you do not have a full live connection for every neuron, or if you've moved a little bit during the steady pose, which is the first of the four poses, simply select retry and stay still. You then can move on to the A pose, hands to your side and feet hip width apart. Then to the T pose, thumbs at a down 35 degree angle. Then to the S pose. We now should be calibrated to my body style and in real time able to view that via the Access Neuron software platform. We now can begin to take a look at our real time human motion personified directly, but we can also use the BVH broadcasting stream that allows us to go directly into the iClone Live motion capture system. Let me show you how to launch that since this is your first time getting started. Simply come to the top and on the left hand side go to File and then scroll down to Settings. In settings, you'll find broadcasting being the second option and BVH being the second checkbox that you'll need to check on. Make sure you check that on and select OK from the bottom. This will stay on by default from now on and anytime you launch Access Neuron, you'll be ready to initiate the iClone Live motion capture system directly. Since we already have Perception Neuron on, calibrated, and running in the background via the Access Neuron stream, we now quickly can connect to these avatars and begin performing. 
As you can see, our first avatar that we have on screen, we can double click to make the active asset inside of iClone. This is visually indicated by a yellow bounding box that will surround the avatar in scene. Now, in the modify panel, we can quickly connect the animation tab by selecting the second tab, left click once, scroll down, and select the device mocap option, launching the device console. This console will allow us to connect to the avatar. In this case, an avatar that was generated by Real Illusion's new tool, Character Creator. The most powerful character creator options on the market for gaming and avatar creation, now available for everybody to generate avatars such as this. This avatar was created from an artist known as Toko Motion. Toko Motion created the first avatar to be a very muscle bound or muscular avatar, so I'm going to give him some muscular motion. We're going to go ahead and connect to this avatar by left clicking connect once at the top of the device console and then you'll see that the active options for preview and record become available to you at the bottom of the device console. To activate that directly onto the character, left click preview once and now you can see that my avatar has some flex poses available to him directly via the live motion capture tools. We're going to go ahead and select spacebar to stop that and we're going to record this motion so we always have that available to us for this Toka Motion character creator design. Select record, left click once, and instantly begin your recording process. So we'll go ahead and give him some flex motion that goes along with his character design. We'll now go ahead and stop and return to the beginning of our scene. And because we're using real-time tools to personify these avatars, we can quickly change that to a different character design. Let's switch to a different fantasy style avatar to also showcase that we can take another piece of content that's more fantasy driven but still a biped. We'll connect to that avatar and also personify a little bit more of a complex rig. For example, our alligator here has a tail. And the tail is something that in physics can be personified in world very simply for you to review the motion that's not only being generated by the body but also the secondary motion that's being generated by the rig instantly in real time. Again, we can just scrub the timeline or the playhead to view this motion that we've just created in any given time and of course we recorded that so that can be accessed via the dope sheet or the timeline in the nonlinear editing fashion and we can pick and choose what we want to keep or export for external use in other tools such as game engines like Unreal or Unity or maybe even external tools for further processing like Max or Maya. We can do that very easily using the 3D Exchange bridge tool that's also a sister program to iClone to take this character rig and the character motion out that we've created for the full character performance. We could even go a step further and take a look at a different toon style avatar created by content producer 3D Universe and as you can see this particular avatar is much smaller so the proportion has completely changed but that's not a problem for iClone in the real-time live motion capture system because we simply can double click the avatar we'll return to the beginning of our scene because she also has facial animation included on her that we've already pre-animated into the scene or on the avatar and I'm now going to perform along with that facial animation to complete the full avatar performance both facial and body I've returned to the beginning of my scene. I've disconnected from my other avatar. I now am going to make her again active by selecting her either from my list or double clicking directly in the scene. Connect to that avatar and now begin recording along with my facial animation. I can very easily now add this performance along with the facial animation that I've already created inside of iClone, completing the full character's acting or performance persona, and doing so on a non-biased avatar style that can be performed by anybody in suit. We'll go ahead and select play for stop, and now we'll take a look at a, a third or a, a final uh, avatar design option in a gaming avatar design, and this avatar is known as Trenton. We also can access this very quickly to show how quick gaming animation can be created inside of iClone and via the iClone live motion capture system. So if you have a gaming avatar character style and we select that and we then connect again once again to the avatar and uh, we'll do this at the beginning of the scene so we have a lot of different uh, time options to choose from for the character motions that we're going to create because I need an idle motion also want to include maybe some fighting motions and stuff like that where we can pick and choose what we want to export for our gaming engine production. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect to Trenton and we'll record maybe some idle motion, maybe a dodge, 
and punch combos. And I can even change my orientation if I want to include maybe a different style or a different look for my motion. In real time, I can see exactly what I've recorded via the viewport, but if I'm happy with what I've recorded, I can begin to start isolating only areas of this motion to export out for further use. We can do that now by utilizing the character in 3D Exchange, and we need to export that rig out to 3D Exchange so we have Trenton's avatar and geometry plus bones ready to go for export into an FBX format. This is a very simple one-click process. Once you have your avatar active, simply select the first icon in the Modify panel of iClone, and then select Edit in 3D Exchange. This will launch our character rig out into our bridge tool, which will allow us to go to other gaming or 3D projects. To do so, we're going to come back over to iClone and we're going to open up the timeline using hotkey F3. And on this dope sheet, we can quickly indicate what areas we want to export for our motion. We can do that by expanding our timeline and zooming out. And this is achieved either on the timeline icon or using hotkeys. And then you can expose any of the motion clips that we've recorded via the iClone Live motion capture system. We can also left click and scrub to indicate these areas. And maybe we just want this nice idle with the dodge included. So I literally can go to the collect clip track, which is found under any character asset track on the timeline. It'll be the very first option in your track selection. And we can left click and drag within any portion of this track to tell iClone I only want to include this area. And you can see that it will highlight that and we can then right click that track and simply select Add Motion to 3D Exchange. Using a left click option then, we will instantly apply that area of the motion that we've recorded and only that area to our avatar in 3D Exchange instantly. Again, this is a quicker and faster solution to create 3D motions for your gaming avatars than ever before. All you have to do is locate the fourth icon from the top, which is export to FBX to take this out into an external production engine for your choosing. Thanks for watching the iClone Live motion capture system demo. I hope you found it as informative and cool as I did for creating new motion for my 3D content. My name's James Martin with Real Illusion, and until next time, keep it moving.